Hey guys, Woody the Unexceptional Gamer, and I'm setting out to make the best rank up guide on YouTube. I've seen a couple of those out there. A lot of them were made before they even showed you how much XP came per match, and it's easy to get the score streaks, points, and the XP points kind of mixed up. Here it is. This is based on my experience, and we're a little deeper into the game, so I think these rank up guides will get better. It's Sharpshooter. If you don't know how to play Sharpshooter, here's the deal. To win the game, you get 10 points for killing a guy, 5 it's, if it's a melee, 20 if it's a headshot. If you kill one guy, you get toughness as a perk. Kill the second one, you get lightweight, the third is dexterity, and if you kill four guys in a row, you get double points, which helps a lot, right? You can actually beat a guy. I, I have another game where I beat a guy and I have 19 kills and he had 24, but the difference is I was, on, I was streaking a bunch. Therefore, I was getting some double points and he wasn't and that's why I beat him. So. 10 to kill, 20 for a headshot, and 5 for a melee, like you just saw there. And then the perks roll through toughness, lightweight, dexterity, and then double points. That's how that works. So the thing about this game in terms of ranking up is the XP. There's a 5 minute timer, so that's how long the game is going to be, period. It's never going to be longer than that. In 5 minutes, when things don't go my way, I'm getting five to 6,000 XP. When things do go my way, I'm getting 12,000, 15,000 XP. And I mention that because I want to be realistic about this. I've seen rank up guides where people are like, yeah, you know, I get 20,000 XP a game when I do this. Well, no, you got 20,000 XP one time. Um, you know, let's be honest about how much XP you're really getting in this thing. This is me being honest. 5,000 in five minutes is bad. And 15,000 is good for me. So that's, you know, that that's pretty that's pretty awesome. Um, by comparison, you know, when I play Domination, a game I'm pretty experienced in, I probably get like five to 6,000 XP on a good game, and those games are 10 minutes long. Uh, I never get, well, I very rarely get, you know, 1,000 XP a minute in a Domination game like I do here. So that's really cool. Uh, some other tips, because it's not just playing the game. You want to unlock your weapons. That's a big deal. You don't get challenge points for stuff unless you have them unlocked. And I was <laughs> dancing with that guy. Um, you don't get challenge points for stuff unless you have unlocked. In previous prestiges, I would prestige with like 12, 15 tokens that weren't even used. Not anymore. Uh, I, I unlock weapons as fast as I can because if I use them in here, then I'll get the XP from them. On a similar note, if you use a uh, care package, you want to unlock your score streak so that you can get the challenge bonus for those things when they come from a care package. Don't just leave stuff unlocked because you don't even like that streak or don't even like that gun. Burn your tokens because you're going to want that stuff for the challenges just in case one falls in your hand, you pick it off the ground, etc. So there's, there's a little tip. Another thing, Double XP Weekend is coming. Double XP Weekend goes from the 14th to the 17th. And in a game like this, you know, if on a good game I'm getting... 12,000, 13,000 XP in five minutes, it's not crazy to think that I could be getting 26,000 XP in five minutes. That's a lot. You know, it's possible to rank up a prestige in a day if you can get scores like that consistently. That's, that's a pretty big deal. So, um, so yeah, Sharpshooter combined with double XP could get guys prestiging a ton this weekend. And, uh, and I think that's really cool. Um, let me, I'm going to throw this thing into fast forward and, uh, you know, the, let you see the end in the after reports and, and how this XP actually rolls in. One of the things I want you to notice when we get to the end here is the fact that this isn't really a crazy game. You know, and I, I go 27 in six in this game, which is good. You know, it's, it's not a bad score, but uh, it's not something that a regular person can't achieve, right? We probably, most of us have gone 27 and six at, at one point or another. And uh, for a score like that, I'm rolling in at over 12,000 XP. So here it comes. There, 27 and 6, just like I said. Nothing really crazy about a game like this, but the XP that I'm getting for a five minute game, like I pointed out, I think is, is pretty crazy. So here's the after report, and I have this thing in slow mo. You can see 12,600 XP. But a lot of that came from weapon unlocks. So I, I got myself a trophy system. I got myself, I think, some sort of reticle. I'm not even sure. Um, on this gun, which I hadn't used a lot, I leveled it up. And I got this EOTech sight. On this gun, which I also don't use a lot, I leveled it up. And I got a reflex sight. A lot of my XP came from weapons. So you think, well, you know, this is a, an unusual occurrence. No. Like, <laughs> I have another game here popping up in a second. There we go. 19 and 14. 
totally unexceptional game, right? This isn't even something that you'd be proud of. But I got 5,000 XP for using that. I unlocked the foregrip. I'm getting all this XP just by cycling through the weapons, in addition to the fact that it's just a high XP per minute game. This is the best way to rank up. Forget about hardpoint, forget about TDM, domination, all those other things. In terms of XP per minute, Sharpshooter is the top of the game. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like. If you're new around here, you can subscribe by pressing on subscribe in the top right there. Here's two videos you may have missed, and have a good day. Finally, in this age of everyone accusing everyone of copying tip videos, I just want to say I've known about this for days. Uh, here's a guy who posted on Reddit a few days ago. First YouTuber I ran into, glad it was him. And you can see at the bottom, just before the match, someone told me Sharpshooter was good for ranking up. I wanted to hit level 30 before I went to bed, so I tried it. Didn't even know the rules, first game I played, etc, etc. So... If you put up your video within the last two or three days, then I didn't copy you. If you put it up before, I still didn't copy you. I, I just can't prove it. <laughs> Bye.